We were on our way to our first destination and as we were driving up this hill behind me that you see, we looked to our left and we see like these hand carved Totoro kind of statues and some other statues over here. What should I do? So I was a bit worried actually because it looked like this is somebody's property. Like there's a house over here. I don't want to put it on camera, but there's a house over here. And I'm assuming that whoever lives in this house has made all these beautiful statues. But then there's a sign here that says welcome. So that sign says welcome. So I'm assuming he wants people to come admire his work or her work. <laughs> Let's go. Where are we? Yeah. There it is. Let's go. Okay, we are at. Where are we? We are at the entrance of Kasumi Gajo Castle. <laughs> So now we're at Tsuchiyu Onsen Town, which is uh, the onsen town here in Fukushima. And this town is primarily known well, for onsen, so for hot air baths. Hot air baths. Hot springs. Hot springs. Ah! So this is known for like hot springs and whatnot. But it's also known for kokeshi dolls. So they're really well known for kokeshi dolls. They make kokeshi dolls here. So we're going to see a lot of kokeshi doll sort of symbolism throughout this town. And there is a walking route that supposedly only takes an hour and a half so you can like see everything in this town in an hour and a half and it's a course and there's a map for it and it's on their website which I'll link down below but we're attempting to take that route right now and you'll also see maps here in the town right behind me look there's a map there so it'll help you guide your way even though we're already lost oh, in this area. oh, oh. it's chained off so I don't think we can go well, but what about this area but I'm sure that chain means we can't go. I'll go. No, oh, I'm scared of the bears. I say no. Okay, let's go. I'll listen to you. So it's lunch time on our walk. We're on our walk still and it's lunch time. And I stopped, wanted to get some gyoza, 400 yen for six pieces. Look at it. Mm. 
Okay, so we just finished having lunch at that delicious gyoza restaurant. I would give it one to ten. Ready? Three, two, one, ten. seven. Oh, really? You give it a ten? No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> no, you can't change. Nine. Huh? Nine. Nine? Uh, I thought it was pretty good, but I'm really, um, what is it, picky about my gyoza. But it was really good. But what made it really nice is that the owner was so friendly. It's like family owned business you, all the families there like just helping out and it's really sweet and she knows english and like she likes to make conversation so really good experience there so i'm gonna link it down below <laughs> Okay, we're in the car now because, well, one, it's raining and we're waiting for our appointment for our private onsen that we booked. Now our appointment's around two o'clock and it's a private open air bath. And the reason why I chose this one is because it is good for people who have tattoos. It's good for couples, good for families. I did a lot of research about this onsen and I actually was looking for onsens that were tattoo friendly in this area. And this seems to be the only one that I could find. Um, and of course I could be wrong, I, but I did do my research and this seems to be the only one that accepts people who have tattoos. I do not have a tattoo. I've just been always kind of weird about needles, but I just wanted to find one that was tattoo friendly for anybody who is looking for a tattoo friendly onsen because I know a lot of my people in America, in the UK, in Australia, or wherever you are, you might have tattoos, so. I did do a little bit of shopping. I didn't want to spend a lot of money, but I did want to walk into the shops and see the Kokeshi dolls. And I went into one shop where there's a little sweet older woman and she, you know, was so happy to show me all the Kokeshis and tell me all about the different Kokeshis. Like this one's from Aomori, this one's from Fukushima. And like, and she's just kept handing them to me. So I kept like, I started having all these Kokeshis in my hand. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> it's cute, it's cute. Um, so I told Gigi, I was like, babe, I, I really just want to buy one just to kind of help her out. I mean, the tourism here is down so much. You know, they're just excited that anybody walks into their shop. And she was so excited to show me all the croquettes. She's tell me all about it. And I was like, I need to buy one. If Even if it wasn't my favorite croquettes doll, I need to buy one to like help out the people. So that I did and she was so happy that I bought one. It was so sweet, I almost, almost cried. never checked in back after we had the onsen experience that onsen was what is like the onsen itself was not great just because it was really weird that you couldn't shower before going in like that's really really like kind of customary bath etiquette for Japan is you shower before going entering in the bath and it, just, it was really bizarre when I first arrived to Japan I thought it was really weird to shower before entering a bath but now I can't get over it so after the bath we went home we had some dinner we actually did take out because we didn't want to go to the restaurant and we ate in our hotel room and we had gyoza and it was okay it was still not the best gyoza so now we're on day three and if you want to check out that vlog, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit that little bell, and you'll get notified when that comes out. Bye! Babe, say bye. Bye. Bye-bye.